hello everyone welcome to this smart life today i have the xiaomi ax3600 wi-fi 6 router this is quite a big router and uh, it supports up to 3000 mbps speed and it has uh, support for iot devices i got this router from banggood.com and uh, in today's video i'm going to unbox this router and i'll show you how to set up using the mi wi-fi app as well as the web interface and i'll also compare this router with the huawei ax3 pro router that i have here this router also claims to support up to 3000 mbps speed and i'll also do a range test of this router compared to the ax3600 coming to the specifications of this router this router supports up to 3000 mbps and uh, it has uh, six external antennas and one aiot antenna it also has the OFDMA and MUMIMO technologies for multiple transfer of packets at the same time with multiple devices and it works with the Media Mi Home app as well as the Mi Wi-Fi app. So the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi is a 2x2 MIMO and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi is a 4x4 MIMO and it also has a dedicated AIoT Wi-Fi and this is manufactured in June 2020 and it also supports uh, many other functions like uh, QoS services and parental control and the game acceleration as well as uh, bandwidth control. The RAM is massive in this device it is 512 MB and number of devices that can be connected to this router is 248 compared to the other routers that are 128 devices okay now let's unbox it and see what is there inside okay this is the device as you can see it is very nicely packed and uh, you can see that there's a foam padding here on the cover for protection so that is quite nice and the packaging is quite good as you can see it comes with a cat 5e lan cable and the power adapter is here the power adapter is 12 volt 1 amp and similar to the ax3 pro from huawei and this is the router itself as you can see it is massive it has uh, six antennas here and the middle one is a uh, aiot or the iot devices dedicated antenna So this is the router and it has two indicators one is the internet indicator and one is the system indicator and it is written here as Mi AIoT router AX3600 and this is the user's manual as usual in Chinese I'll just connect the power and then we have to connect the LAN cable to the one port from the internet and that's it we have to set it up using the Mi Wi-Fi app or the Mi Home app okay let's keep all these things aside so this is basically a tabletop structure where you there is no mounting holes so you cannot mount this router on your wall the structure has a lot of ventilation for efficient cooling uh, as you can see there are a lot of uh, ventilation here so default wi-fi names are uh, xiaomi 9978 for 2.4 g and xiaomi 9978 5g for the 5 gigahertz wi-fi that was the unboxing now i'll show you how to set it up let's connect the power so these are the LAN ports and the power input. Uh, I think this is uh, not the, the usual DC jack. I think this is a, a 4 mm DC jack and uh, this is the WAN port and there are three other LAN ports. All of them are gigabit LAN ports and this is the reset button. Now let's connect the power. Okay, the power is now connected. As you can see, uh, the system is red and we have to wait for it to turn blue. And I'll connect the LAN cable to the WAN port. Now, as you can see, the indicator has turned blue and it also has an indicator middle antenna here. Now, let's go to the Mi Wi Fi app. This Mi Wi Fi app is uh, not a usual app from the Play Store or the App Store. This is a custom uh, translated app of the Chinese version. I have uh, introduced this uh, app in my previous video. I will give a link in my description below. And uh, let's try to add a new router here. So, go to add add a new router even if you use this official app the steps will be the same so it has found a new router here let's try to connect to the 5g wi-fi and one thing we should remember is we should turn off the mobile data if you do not turn off the mobile data it will say that you are not connected to a xiaomi router because it is confused so now it is detected so it has tested the internet connection and it says no dialer required if you require a dial-up then you have to click the dial-up link here and you can add the 
triple poe username and passwords and you also have more options like uh, you can also set it up as a manual mode or wi-fi repeater mode or a wireless repeater mode and so on for me i don't require on any of that so i'll just click next and this is the wi-fi name and uh, i'll enter a password okay now i have entered a password and we, we can set the admin password as the same as this password and i will also en enable the 160 megahertz bandwidth and now you can see that the wi-fi router that is the xiaomi 9978 that is this router is added and we can see the device is connected that is my phone that is connected to this router right now and uh, these are the plugins uh, there is an update and uh, we can we need to update to this uh, firmware for getting the new options like the mesh networking and so on so we can update it so now it's updating as you can see the router lights are changing once the indicators both indicators turn blue then we'll be able to connect to this router and use the router now the update is complete now we can see the add mesh node here and we can also go uh, go to the devices and see the mesh networking equipment so we can add the uh, mesh networking equipment and so on so that is the update okay now let's do a speed test so the download speed is 608 mbps and the upload speed is 116 mbps so that was the test and we can also check the uh, functions of this router uh, it has the mesh networking function and if you select some of the devices you can turn on the qos function and if you turn on the qos function then you can set the uh, speed limit of this device and it also has a child protection that is a parental control and access control and other uh, functions as well and it also has guest wi-fi option here you can turn on a guest wi-fi and uh, other settings like uh, vpn settings and so on and in the internet mode you, you can also switch modes to other broadband services or static ip internet or wi-fi or wired repeater modes so these are the functions of this device for the comparison between the ax3600 and the ax3 pro that i have here i will not be using the speed test uh, internet speed test for the comparison that because that is not reliable it's not very objective uh, method to compare the speed and the range for that i'll be using the program called iperf and iperf is a is a program that can check the speed of the network that can be the wireless network or the lan uh, wired network uh, between the connected device and the router so i'll be using iperf and i'll also do a test at different locations in my house and uh, i'll show you the speed comparison so this is the mobile app of iperf and i'll be connecting through my mobile to the wireless router and then i'll also connect the server to this router and then i'll test the speed and in the case of the ax3 also i'll connect this mobile to the ax3 pro and then i'll connect the server to this ax3 pro and then i'll use this app to compute the speed and then i'll give a comparison result coming to the comparison of the ax3600 and the ax3 pro the ax3600 is obviously better in both speed and range the detailed hyper comparison test results are shown here this also shows how much data was downloaded or uploaded during the test and now what i'll do is i'll reset this router and uh, i'll show you how to set it up using the web interface just in case uh, you want to set it up using the web interface or the, you don't have the mobile app in order to reset there's a reset button here so this is the reset button and you have to press it for a while until the indicator lights change color so let's press it and wait so now the indicator lights turned off lights have turned orange so we have to wait until the lights turn blue again and we'll be able to connect using the web interface so now we can see that the router indicator light has turned blue so we can now connect to this router so in order to do that we can connect to the router here just connect we can see that it is asking for setup so go next and it's asking for the wi-fi name give a wi-fi name and the password so now the wi-fi setup has been completed so we can connect to this wi-fi enter the password so now it is connected so after connecting you can go to miwifi.com and you can see the web interface so enter the password then this is the web interface as you can see and we can see the connected devices and we can also translate this page so we these are the connected devices and so on and now you can see that the wi-fi indicators the internet indicator as well as the indicator here have turned blue so you can now use it and uh, 
you can go to other settings and see what are the other additional settings that, that are available so we can translate these pages so in or if you want to set uh, a single wi-fi name for both 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz then you have to turn this on and you will have only single Wi-Fi name that is the SSID single SSID with the same password for both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz coming to the internet settings you can see the internet information and set the DHCP settings or static IP settings and we can also switch modes like the normal router working mode and then wireless relay mode or the wired relay mode and it also has the IPv6 network settings you can also have native support or network address translation or static IPv6 and enter it manually coming to the advanced settings you have to give a service here and you can also allocate manual ip for each uh, device and you also have ddns and port forwarding and vpn in the vpn settings you can add a service in pptp or lgtp agreement types and uh, you can enter your server address and other credentials and if you connect the router through a vpn service then you will be able to enable this feature if this feature is enabled then you will be able to access the router interface through the app so that is useful if you want to control the settings of the router over vpn you can also add the mesh node routing from the web interface here and here you can see the options for upgrading the firmware currently this 1.0.67 is the latest firmware with the mesh networking option and the functions uh, of the web interface is, is similar to the app mobile app and you can also add the mesh node routing from this interface as well the x3600 with uh, more antennas seems to perform uh, better in the range test uh, compared to the ax3 pro however the price of the ax3600 is uh, uh, more than the ax3 pro that i have here but i think this is a very uh, well built device and uh, another factor of comparison is the cooling as you can see i have turned on this router for quite a while now and i cannot feel any heat bottom or on the top of this device but compared to the ax3 pro uh, because this has a very less cooling uh, ventilation the bottom here is a uh, very hot right now even though i'm not using it that much so i think that is an issue and i think uh, cooling efficiency of the xiaomi routers are better compared to other routers and i think this is uh, also the same so this was the review of the ax3600 i like this router and a lot now i'll change my main router to the ax3600 from the ax1800 in the future i'll do a mesh networking between the ax3600 and the ax1800 and the redmi ax5 and i'll do a complete review of the mesh network of these routers thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time